All right, here we are on the Dynamic Duo's newest build, an emulation station on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, 32 gigabytes of gaming. And what this is, what you're staring at here, is all the games on your right as I flick through these systems. Those are the only games you can play on this particular build. And you might be noticing, hey, I know those games. Yes, because these are the best-selling, best of the best, big franchise games. So you've seen on my channel, 10,000 games, 15,000 games, 1 million games. You've seen it all, right? But you haven't seen this, where they took an image, you just took the best of the best, you threw out all the fluff, and you just gave it to the man. You gave them what they wanted, and that's it. And you know what? If you look at Nintendo, if you look at Neo Geo, if you look at the set, what Sega's about to do with the Sega Mini, this is the future. This is it. You know, you get like 12, 20, maybe 30 games on these little mini builds. Well, here's a Raspberry Pi build where we're going to give you all the mini systems, all the Ataris, all the PlayStation Classics, all the Game Boys, everything. We're going to give you those classic consoles, and we're only going to give you the games you want. Now, I know there's going to be some naysayers on there like, hey, they didn't give me this XYZ game. Okay. All right. It's not going to please everyone. But this is what's going on is that people want, some people want these big mega builds. Some people want these really basic, easy to use setups. And I got to say, this is pretty cool. Give me the games I grew up on. You know, for example, arcade classics here. These are games that I saw in the arcade when I was a kid. You know, yeah, it's cool with those other games, but I'm half the time I'm scrolling through all these game lists. So here it is. The Dynamic Duo giving you the Dynamo Elite Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus 32 gigabyte image. Let's check this out. So this is something really cool. So when you first click into a system, it is uh, alphabetical order. So I was just looking over here on the right side of your screen, you'll see all these games. You might be thinking, well, the first one should be Castlevania, but it's Super Castlevania, so it's S. So actually the first game should be Chrono Trigger. There you go. Now something you might think about this build is, okay, what if I want to get, let's go back here really quick. What if I want, what's at the end of the alphabet here? Uh, Zelda, right? Well, you'd be like, well, then Drew, you just go backwards instead of forwards. And then I'd be like, you are actually very correct there. Um, but you could still hit select. And when you hit select, you could still do your number here. And what you might be noticing is this is a lot like a track mode. So you have an emulation station build that looks really much like a track mode, yet it's not super laggy. It's actually quite nice. Oh, back to arcades here. I need to go back to Super Nintendo. And I could still use the select function on my controller and easily guide myself to whichever game I want. So Super Nintendo, Super Mario and Super, all the Super games are gonna be coming up. There you go. I gotta say, this is pretty cool. The HD graphics on the left, the not so HD graphics in the video snap, and, um, Pretty cool. I mean, this is, to me, better than the SNES Classic. I mean, as far as how they're displaying everything, if you go back, you're back on this big screen. And I'm just on a little desktop monitor right now, but I can only imagine that this probably looks pretty darn good blown up on a, you know, 100 inch screen. So that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and load a game here, DuckTales classic game look at that loading videos no surprise there figured as much with such a clean image here so what i'm getting here the, the smell the flavor i'm getting here 
and how I would package this thing and, and, and sell it to you is that this is a Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi Mini to kill all mini images. Oh, those are bad. That was bad too. All right, so let's go ahead and go through these lists really quick. So it's seven times three, 21, Sega 32X, Sega CD. So it's actually 25 games per system, except Arcade Classics is 50, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep in my original audio um, to show you the actual about game. About 21. It's about 21 to 24 games per. Let's just go through these really quick until you get to Arcade Classics. Good call here though. You don't wanna skimp on these Arcade Classics. Um, let's go back to Atari now, about. 24 or so, maybe 27 or so, 27 or 30 or so, 27 or 30, 27 or 30, 24, 27, 27, 24, 7 times 2, 21, 24, it looks like 24, it looks like 24, it looks like, this is way too fast, huh? You gotta pause your screen. Look at these screams. So the PlayStation, really nice collection here. Tekken, Twisted Metal, Tony Hawk, Worms, Street Fighter, Spyro, Gran Turismo 2. You can't tell me that's a nice Metal Gear Solid, Ape Escape, Castlevania, Driver. Like these are, these are the games. Um, so there you have it as far as the games go. I did download another theme. I installed SNES Mini. Just to like, let's break this image really quick. Let's just break it for the video here. So there you go. 25, 25, 25, 25. This is just my easy calculator. Oh, is it always 25? Okay. I guess it just looked like some of the logos were bigger. 50 in arcade, okay. So it's all 25. You know, looks can be deceiving, everyone. Remember that. All right, 50 arcade though. Last played. That's right, DuckTales. All games. 525. This is a lucky image, if you think about it. All all 25 per 50 arcades, and then 525. Like, I think there's some resemblance, some sort of Illuminati thing going on there, but no extra scripts or anything like that. You know, there's that whole thing of choice fatigue. You guys ever heard that? Choice fatigue where... You know, you like go into Subway, you're going into Subway, right? And they're like, what kind of bread do you want? And you're like, oh man, what do you, you got mozzarella, you got the cheese bread, you got whole wheat, you got white, you got sourdough. It's like, you know, and they all sound really good, right? And so you're, you know, what, which one do I get? You know, you finally decide after like five minutes and the lady behind you is like, hurry up. And then uh, you realize that it's not a woman, it's a man. And uh, so you continue ordering. And uh, next thing you know, ordered your, uh, your bread. What cheese do you want? What kind of meat do you want? It's just, it's just a never ending uh, vicious cycle. And you're like, I just want a dang sandwich. All right, I'm hungry, make me a sandwich. Then you realize when you get your sandwich, this is even the sandwich you want. Fatigue overload and choice overload. This is gonna simplify it for you. Just take the sandwich and eat this image. So another thing, you are in kiosk mode, so if you hit right, if you go right to the next system really fast, you can see the list of games there. But you gotta hit it really fast. If you go slow, though, like if I go slow, you can't see the list. It's still really cool. If you go up and down, you can't see anything. That's really cool. What if I hold, yeah, oh, if you hold, if you hold it, hard hold it, you can see it then. Okay, still really cool. Pretty legit. I like this though, like we skip to the other one, that's cool. I like that on the loading screen here, you can see the all the games in this particular system. You can be like, all right, well after this game, I'm gonna play some of the, you know, RK5.
I'm gonna speed run this. This is my speed run. You guys ready? Oh! Oh! That was such a great speed run. The best. Alright, no, seriously, let's see if we can sp let's speed run this. Okay, here we go. So as far as image size, it's actually uh, 23 and a half gigabytes, and then you gotta unzip it. I prefer 7-zip for that. And then when you get an image file, the image file is gonna be about 27 and a half gigabytes, so way under all 32 gigabyte SD cards are gonna work for this. So it's 20 systems, 25 games per system, except one system, Arcade Classics, has 50. That wasn't so bad. 344, you guys try to beat that. You know, honestly, if you just gave me the Super Nintendo pack, I'd be fine with that. Straight up. Oh, did I just jump on his fireball? That's awesome. Oh. Bro, oh, stop jumping. Stop. What the heck? Oh, man. So final thoughts on the image. A plus, no doubt about that. The community has spoken. They want something where they don't have choice overload. It's simple, just give me the best of the best. Um, I have to say the screen capture did not do it justice. It was way more responsive on my direct screen. My capture card was a little delayed. And that tends to be the case with these large video files, the video snaps. Um, that's just something with the capturing. I'm not entirely sure there's a slight delay. So it might have looked really laggy at sometimes in this video, but I have to say on my actual Raspberry Pi, it was probably twice as fast. Um, so I was that was not an issue at all. I know that that's sometimes an issue for some people that they don't like the video snaps. Um, with all that said though, you know, this is great for a kid. You know, it's not overwhelming. It's really visual. It's good for a newbie, but it's also good for the person who's been around Raspberry Pis for a really long time as it's kind of a new concept that I haven't seen for a while. I mean, it's a, I mean, I would say the closest thing to it is a track mode, but this is a really clean, simple track mode where the menu is right in front of you at all times, you know, especially on the screen here. And then when you go into the games, you can use that easy search function. Now, the search function might not be as easy as the other functions, but, you know, hitting select on your controller is fairly simple. Um, so with all that said, really, really cool to see this. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to like it. I mentioned earlier in the video about how mini systems are taking over. And this is basically a all-encompassing mini system. It's the, you know, um, poly mega of Raspberry Pi images. Um, now, obviously, it doesn't play every single game, but it's play giving you those best of the best games. And, you know, some of you are going to disagree, as I mentioned earlier. But for those of you who are new to retro gaming or want to get somebody into retro gaming, this is probably your best bet. There's a reason why people watch hockey for the fights, why people watch NFL for the crashes and, and MotoGP and Formula One for when the cars crash. It's like you need to give beginners something that they want. And this is what they want. They want these big titles that are easy to get, easy to understand. And this could be a gateway drug to further retro gaming. And for all those reasons, we need more gateway drugs for retro gamers. And so here it is. Um, really good work from the uh, duo here. Loving it. Uh, highly recommend it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.